for grant money. And I would just encourage the local uh, uh, NGOs and charities that need funding, please go to the website. So go to the website. There's a form that you can fill out. Fill that out and submit it because we have the means to help the local organizations. But if, as the media, if you would encourage the local charities to go to the website, apply, because we're here to help those, the, those, those in need. So that's what I would ask you to, just to spread that word. Neil, this is my business. Uh, thank you. Uh, Mac? Yes. Hi. Michelle Cantor from Business Good. Way Business. How are you? Good. How are you? Good. Um, how much money has been actually um, dispersed so far? How much money has Fondos uh, Unidos for Puerto Rico, excuse me, received so far? And how quickly are the is this new grant cycle going to happen so that money actually flows into the NGOs? Yeah. So I don't have the numbers, so we'll have to release that separately. What I would tell you is. The gifts that we've seen have been what we, more than we anticipated. So it's exciting to see all uh, the giving and the philanthropy coming into the foundation. We do have some very big grant requests in front of us uh, from some local organizations, from national organizations that have a presence here that we're currently evaluating. And our focus is to get the money to those organizations as quickly as possible. But again, I would encourage, there is still funding there that's available. So what the media can do is help ensure that the charities, the NGOs, the orphanages, the nursing homes, the people that need the money will continue to apply because the funds are available. But the board is very, very focused on getting those requests in and evaluating those as quickly as possible. And I can tell you that's going to be a big part of the, the meeting this afternoon that we have. Thank you. And I have a question for the First Lady. Um, and if you can answer in English, that'd be great. Uh, you, uh, okay. Um, you just gave a short... Um, you know, synopsis of what's happening at the Stop and Go Centers. Can you maybe say that again in English? Yes. Okay. Um, we have uh, 21 Stop and Goes all around the island. Our goal is to get to 40 all around the island. And what we do there, we give them Wi-Fi. That is so important to get connected with their families. Uh, satellite phones, we give them a hot food, a plate of healthy food for them, water we have, and all of this is not a, a, a very expensive because we have the connection with all the agencies that are getting together. For example, the Agency of Health is giving them a psychological health. Uh, we have the school helping us with the, with the, also with the food and also with the areas for children. Uh, it's an holistic project. We, well, what we want is in the middle of a, such a horrible crisis like we're, we're going through that families can go somewhere and be safe and have electricity, water, and basically have a, a, a moment with their families together. And for, for my focus, um, I don't go into public, pol uh, public policy. My focus is that kids, the children, they don't have to suffer this. We need to give them peace and, and, a, and a nice place for them to keep being kids, keep being children. Do you know how many people you've um, helped so Every far? day, 35,000 people are going to the stop and go, uh, charging their phones, getting uh, uh, water, food. Um, they're uh, filling out the FEMA application. In Atorre, one of the stop and goes in San Juan, we already have 2,000 people that ask for the FEMA help. So it's working, and, and, and thanks to United for Puerto Rico is that I'm able to help and do all this. So I'm very grateful, and again, $1, $5 that you can give is something that we're gonna use, and we're gonna get it. For, for me, the most important part for all of us is that the money gets immediately to, to why would we wanna have that in, in a bank account, let's use it immediately. So that's what we're doing. We're meeting every every Wednesday, sometimes more, so we can get all the help out. We were talking uh, in, in the other room about they're going to do uh, water distribution. Yeah, water distribution. But we're going to give them $5,000. Uh, Five hundred. Five hundred thousand. Five hundred thousand. Okay, okay. okay. Um, but we want to know how are they going to use the money, and so she's preparing us how she's going to use the money. If she, when she shows us how she's using it, and and we see results, then we're going to give her more, because we're sure that their work is is getting to the people immediately. Thank you. Thank you.